developing ground rules. So firstly, let's think about what are ground rules. Ground rules are really just principles about how you'd like to work together as a group. They're about expectations. What do you expect from each other? If you don't discuss what you expect from each other, then how will you know? And this can then lead to confusion or misunderstandings. It's also about getting agreement from all your group members. And it's a good idea to write down your ground rules so that you can use them at your meetings, share them with all your committee members so everyone knows what's expected and update them when or if needed. So now let's look at why ground rules are important. As I said, one of the main reasons is so that everyone knows what's expected of them. Ground rules also encourage respect and can enable everyone to take part. This can improve your communication and lead to better decision making. If everyone's taking part and you're all working well together, this will help you to be more effective as a group. You'll be more productive and you'll be able to get things done. Lastly, having ground rules can reduce conflict and misunderstanding, and it can also help to address problems if they arise. Finally, let's look at some examples of different types of ground rules. Ground rules can look at how you behave towards each other. For example, we will listen and respect each other's opinions. They can also look at how you communicate with each other. For example, we will respond to emails as soon as possible. And they can help you think about how you encourage people to take part or how you create a safe space for your meetings. For example, we will value everyone's contribution. And lastly, they can focus on practical things. For example, putting in apologies for meetings or being on time. So have a think about all of these things when you're developing your own ground rules for your group.